Hello people YouTube, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another uh, the Golf Club 2 video. <coughs> well first off I've got a little bit of sore throat coming. I kind of started to get it last night but just in case I sound a bit different. Um, this video is basically called to catch a cheater and what I've, I've been playing golf the last few nights uh, and I actually for the first time played around the golf on another society and I, I decided Somebody came on and my wife stream and said that this guy was a, a known cheater. So I basically put his ghost ball up and played, I think I played like maybe the last, maybe the back nine or something. And, you know, the guy was hitting absolutely ways of perfect straight shots. So the guy was, was definitely a cheater. So what I'm going to do in my society is it's almost like a, a random drug test in athletics or like a... Like the police pulling over somebody to to do a, like a breathalyzer test. It's going to be a random. If, if I feel that if I look at somebody's score, and I think it's going to, I think it to be deemed like a score that I would probably say is is not natural. Uh, then I'm I'm going to check it out, and, and hopefully it probably does prove prove to be to be the case. But uh, basically, in my society. Um, one person was proposed to me to be a cheater. Uh, I went on last night and actually checked that for myself and sure enough it, it, it proved to, to be the case. AWG 007 is proven to be a cheater. I would honestly say that he's not a really good cheater because his um, yardage calculations, like his wind elevation, uh, the, the the ball lie is not good, so he's not putting it in dead tight, but he's he's getting under par rounds. He's, he's playing under the radar because he's not playing that well, but he is definitely cheating. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to take, I'm going to show you a result, um, and I'm going to show you how the process works. So we'll, we'll go to the last, but we'll go to this one. I don't, is that going to actually come up? I didn't realise that was as long ago. Right, let's check the results on this. Yeah, I may have to actually write down dates. Um, just to make sure. If I'll write down, I'm going to get my notepad. Because I'm sure I checked this, this round yesterday. Wait to just write down. Um, so this was... Right. So basically... No, but A A AWG didn't play in this. Uh, but I actually checked. Now, I know Marco, and I've actually communicated with Marco, but it's 10 under par round sparked, because that is a very hard course to play, and he played really well. And I thought to myself, right, I'm actually going to check his score. I, I know that he's legit, but I just need to double check. And as soon as I seen the first tee shot, I was like, yep. Guaranteed, hundred percent. The guys, the guy is properly playing that course. Now, what was the course? There was one I checked last night. Was it Royal Ethelwind? Let's just check the, the the scores on this. Again, I'm just wanting to see like if this player has played. And I'm going to show you the the, the process. My right, AWG finished second, so he's only two shots behind. Um. Behind the leader, so we'll just take these top two guys. Now I know the top guy is legit playing because I did check last night, but this this would be the process. So I would take Keith Ardun two three three and AWG double seven, and I would say right, okay, I'm, I'm gonna check this. So what we need to do is play Ethelwind. I'm just gonna take, make a note of the the date. Um, I'll write down here it's the twenty seventh to the thirtieth, right? Right, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to exit out all my societies and this is how I can verify if somebody's cheating or not. As I say, I'm going to do random checks. I, I think most people in my society actually play fair golf except for AWG and I'm going to show you how and why I come to that conclusion. So I think I've got that course in my... I'm going to type it in. It's probably quicker to type it in. 
So we go to is it Ethel Wind. I'll put Ethel, it should come up. So basically what I do is I go to the course, right? Uh, start new round. And then what I go to here is I add player and I think I go to I think it's add ghost. And then I can do the drop down menu because it will bring up ghosts from all over the world basically. It's quite a good idea. You can actually play um match play with, with some of these people. So we'll go to I think it's friends. I think because they're in the society. Um Okay, so here we go. So, for instance, right, let's see, let's try and get AWG first, because that's the name I'm more interested in. So, let's see, let's bring it up. Right, there's AWG, right? Four rounds of golf we played. So, that's his final round here. So, let's select him, add to group, because he's the one I want to check. And what I'm going to do is, I, I know that Keith Ardern's playing legit, but let's, let's just add, just for an example, how, how I can randomly check any player that plays on my society. And this is just a little kind of heads up, basically. It's just that I, I will be checking scores. If I, if I deem a score to be, like, kind of, like, edging on, sort of, you know, I mean, there, for instance, is Keith Ardern, 2-3-3. So I think, was that my, I'm sure that was, let's just punch that in, should be the same tease, yeah. So basically I can go to my ball here, I can select pin 4, just for, uh, you don't really need to set it, I can set a different bit. So basically that is the scores that, that were played in my society. Uh, and we begin round. Now I need to select the um, turn order and basically all this is going to do, I'm going to see how this person hits and the real thing to, to, to take note of is the, the actual kind of radar screen or the, the, the shot indicator or the, or the swing path I think is probably the, the better term. So we'll just stop this, put turn order on, okay let's hit. I'm not worried about where this goes, this is really just test purposes. Now you can see my swing there is slightly to the to the right of the cone. Not not my actual standard shot, I usually hit a draw. Well we find the well, I was gonna say we find the fairway, but we don't. Okay, so here we go. Are we gonna get the turn order? I think we are. Now this is is this AWG? Now watch this. Perfectly straight. That is a laser perfect straight shot. That person is either using a keyboard. I don't think the keyboard does a different swing. I don't think the keyboard does a back swing. But he's got some form of axis lock on his, his control stick. So that's one sh perfect straight shot he's hit. So let's give him the benefit of doubt and we'll see his next shot. Now he's, here's Keith Ardern. I know this guy's legit. So let's watch his shot. And there you go. He's actually hurt quite a straight shot there, but you can see there at the end it just slightly comes over the top. So it's not a hundred percent straight. You can see that there is some form of skill there. So let's just check right. So straight shot. Now that is an absolute laser perfect straight shot once again. Now as I said before, this player I don't think is a highly skilled cheater. He's not got his yardage connect. Uh, I think he's very um, scrappy and he's, he's, he's play on yardage. So I'm 2-3-2, two, two, coming from the rough, I'm just going to hit this up. I'm not I'm not interested in scoring today, I just want to see the, the, the balls here. So I'm basically rewinding time almost and I'm able to kind of go back in time and check these guys how they played on that day. He's Keith Ardern, I've got a 3 wood here, and there you see, well, you can tell 100% this guy is absolutely legit, he's played that into the bunker, he's not played a straight shot, he's actually came to the, the, the left side of the cone. So we can see straight away that this guy is playing legit. 
okay, we'll just play up, not bothered. Maybe good to get a little bit of practice in, I suppose, but quite happy with that pitch shot. I'll take that any day. Um, so this is just the way I can check. So here we go. This should be the East Keith had quite a difficult bunker shot. So absolutely 100% playing the way it should be. I'm really happy. And I, I, I knew before I started that, that there was a widget. And here we go. Watch this. Perfectly straight. Three shots in a row. No. So he's not a good player because he's not actually put that course. So he's cheating, but he's he's cheating through not... If, if this guy was on point with, with his uh, approach play and yardage, he probably would be shooting at fantastic scores. But he did shoot 32 under par in this course, um, which was good shooting, but I'm afraid to say this guy is cheating. Keith had done there with a pretty decent putt in there. But you can see straight away Keith Ardern's playing legit. I think it's Keith Ardern. I might just call him Keith, just to keep it simple. So I think they're coming up here. It's taking its time. I don't know what's happened here. My game has... Uh, my game has went funny. Um, what's happening? Right, I'm going to come out of that. Go back in. I don't know what's happening here. My game appears to have... Uh, I don't know what's happening. I mean, there's enough data there that you can see that that person was hitting perfectly straight shots. Um, I, I really don't know what's happening with this game. Wait to see if we can press the option button. No. Okay. Um, I'm going to come out of this. I'm going to close the application. Um, it, it's probably enough of a video to, to emphasise how somebody cheats and how you can tell straight away that that person uh, is cheating. And we just got a crash there. We'll start it back up. Um, and that's how, how I'm going to process uh, whoever wins a tournament. I, I'll do random checks on people. Uh, and as soon as I see somebody that, that's, that, that's deemed to be cheating, I'm going to record it in a video. I'm going to make like a case note file. So this will probably case, this will be cheater file number one. Um, and if that guy or person deems to come on and say that he's not cheating, I can, I've got video evidence of them actually doing it. And... Uh, it's there in, in black and white. There's nobody, nobody in this planet, not even the best player in the golf club two, could hit straight shots for a whole round. It's physically impossible to hit a straight shot. I wouldn't say it's impossible to hit a straight shot. You can. And I have hit straightish sh shots. And I have hit probably like one or two, almost what I would consider to be like that type of shot, like a straight shot. But it's very, very rare. Uh, I tend to play either with a draw or a fade shot. That's what I favour. That's what I do. That's my style of gameplay. So, as a president of the Pixelated Golfers Association, uh, let's see if we can actually just resume this. Uh, I will be checking certain players. Let's see if we can actually get back into this. Let's 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 hit the continue. Hopefully we don't go back to this black screen. Uh, Keith Ardern was, was selected purely because he, he, he won the tournament. With a really good score, but it was a course that was uh, attackable. Uh, I mean, I shot I shot 60-61 for the first two rounds, so I was actually in the lead. And then I threw it away in the third round, and Keith Ardern basically overtook me and won. So I probably should have been up there, of course. So I know his score 
was potentially uh, legit, but AWG came to my came into my radar through uh, other friends that play this game. And other friends that, that are getting really fed up of cheaters who are spoiling the game. Um, in fact, AWG 007 is one shot behind me at 7 under par in the Bridgestone Invitational. If he plays like a, a good final round, I'm going to be really severely pissed off. Especially when he's cheating. Uh, until we get the powers to, be, to kick that person... Then uh, 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 our hands are basically tied. Uh, there's not a lot we can do about it. So what we're going to have here is this going to give us back? Yeah. Right. Okay. So we can resume this. So I'm just going to tap in here. So. Okay. These guys. I don't know. These guys going to come on in the next hole. Okay, hold it's a two, shot, wait till I get a shot process, turn all that. I'm just hitting up, I'm not really bothered. I could probably put a better shot than that. Okay, uh, well, so we're going to get the tee shots, we should. Here we go. This is this. Who is this? Yeah, that's actually quite a straight shot. Okay, potentially probably a good shot. Right, this is AWG here. Now watch, watch this shot. Absolutely laser perfect. So I'm going to hit here. Uh, to be honest, uh, the thing I don't get with cheaters, and I was lying in my bed this morning and I kind of came up with this, this analogy, this kind of idea of what it's basically like. It's like is it being a marathon runner? Now, a marathon's what, 26 miles? I think it's 26, just over 26. It's like doing a marathon, right? And it's like running 25 miles. Uh, here, here we go, watch this. See what I mean? A laser straight shot. I don't think he gets the, the, the yardage bang on or the wind. See, he's not putting that in close to the pin, his, his yardages are maybe off a little bit, although it's coming back, touch. I mean, he's not bad there. But that's another way it's a straight shot, he's not missed a shot yet. So here, here's Keith. And you can see there that there's a slight deviation on that. He's had a pretty good shot in. But that is a normal shot. So yeah, it's it's like running a marathon for for t doing. It's like running twenty five miles of a, of a marathon. You know, doing all the hard work, and then getting in a taxi and and crossing the line in a taxi. What what is the point? You you've you've actually done the hardest part of this game. Swinging is hard, but you know you've got to calculate the elevation, the wind. I mean, yes, yeah, it's ten miles, one seventeen, eighteen. One two eight. Um, probably gonna be that. Bit of slope. Man, hit it. I mean, he he's doing the really hard work. He's working out the calculations. He's doing all the maths. I really not hit that all that well, but I got the distance bang on. And then he's he's just basically hitting it with a straight shot. But you know, he's doing all the good work. He's doing all the stuff that really. To me, is the guts of the game, and a, a process it takes a couple of seconds. He's he's cheating it. Yeah, there's another straight shot. He gets the putt. But why? I mean, why run a marathon for for twenty five miles, and then hail a taxi down, jump in and cross the line in a taxi and go? Oh great, I just finished a marathon. Ah, but you crossed the line in a taxi. Ah, but I I, I ran twenty five miles. 
But why do you not just do that other mile and just, you know, just cross the line normally? Why do you have to get into a taxi and cross the line in a taxi? It's just it's just bonkers. And that's that's what these, these people are doing, they're cheating. They're doing all the hard stuff, they're doing all the, the, the groundwork and then hitting a straight shot because they, they can't be bothered to learn how to swing in the game. And I just think it's absolutely ridiculous that these people are doing it. So, here we go. This is the final hole. I might even just do the, the, the tee off and we'll, we'll see what happens. I'll try and get the guys right this time. Uh, who is this? Is this? I don't know who this is. Is this Keith? Is this Keith? Yeah, that's Keith. You can actually see it's just a slight variation. He's actually got a good. He's actually got a good swing by the looks of it because that's quite accurate. It's just slightly off, feel towards a fade. Now here we go. Point in case here. A W G. This will be. Ways are straight. I mean, tempo's there. It's again, but look, it's poor Cobbs. He's not got the yardage. So. This guy to me is very, or this person is very dangerous, um, you know, and that's going to end this, this, this part, portion of the play here. That's enough evidence that I need to to to, to tell that that person's cheating. Keith Ardern is an absolutely top-notch player, and you can tell by his swing control that he's very much on point. But he's not always a straight. He had a couple of straight, close enough straight shots, but you can see there that there's some form of variation in it. Um, and AWG, I'm afraid to say this, is classified in my pixelated golfers has been a cheat and this will be a case note cheat file number one this is my first um, case file that I'm going to put on my YouTube channel it's not, it's not something that I really want to put YouTube videos up of but at the moment the cheating in this game is is actually quite a hot topic at the moment and it's killing societies dead. There's guys that have got societies that have built up, they're absolutely fantastic, they've done a lot of work, they've even done websites, and my heart goes out to these guys that have got big societies and have got cheaters in them. Uh, I've got a small society at the moment. At the moment we've got 22 uh, members. That may become 21, with a AWG being a cheat. I don't, I don't really see them being in the mix. Now, this is where it gets maybe controversial because I don't know the standpoint of AWG007. Uh, he may have problems with his hands. Um, he could be an older player that's got some form of arthritis. He could be a younger player that maybe just doesn't really know, thinks he's doing okay. Or he could be a, a normal person just basically cheating the system. Uh, and I don't want to slam anybody that, that maybe has got some form of of a disability in, in their hands or somebody who's maybe too young to really know what they're doing. Uh, but from my standpoint and from what I see, it's basically cheating. And I don't tolerate it in, in my society. I don't have a big society. What I find I've got in my society is... A fantastic bunch of guys that, that play really good golf, you know, or play golf and play it to, to a standard that they're not cheating. And I'm not going to have somebody that's potentially going to win a tournament through cheating. If you can't hack it, if you can't go out to the practice area and, and hone your, your swing down to a nice rhythmical swing, that 99.9% .9 of the time you can swing pretty decent like I do. Maybe the tempo goes out once in a while. Maybe you catch one a bit, a bit, a, you know, too much slice or, or a, a hook. But that's golf, and that's what happens. And it's nice to play against somebody that's that's got really good skill. And two people go at it, and eventually there's a winner. But if you're winning through cheating, I'm sorry, but I don't have any any time for that. And I will highlight players that are cheating in my society. So from now on, uh, there is going to be some form of a, 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 a policing uh, quality control or 
like a random uh, cheat test is what I'm going to call it and I will be doing it if I'll check people periodically uh, if, 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 if I feel in my gut that somebody's playing it around that's um, what I would deem to be quite sort of how can you put it um, you know a bit fishy smelling I, I'm gonna definitely gonna, gonna investigate it I'm gonna pull up the, the ghost balls and we check it out and hopefully you know the person just played fantastic golf because th there are some really good players out there um, I actually went and checked I know this is gonna be bad but I checked a few other people in my society that play really good golf and I just purely checked it just I'm, I want to paint everybody with the same brush and they all checked out and they all checked out to be really really fantastic so guys that's what's gonna happen this is as I say case file number one and up in the the up in the who do you call it in, in court up in the stalls is AWG for cheating and at the moment it's 110% proven um, when the ability comes to kick people out that person will definitely be getting kicked out I'm not tolerating it not in my society um, so what's coming up today well today at some point I'm going to be doing the uh, WGC Bridgestone Inv Invitational round 4 uh, we, had, we had an absolutely fantastic uh, third round we went from 2 under par we shot 64 6 under we went to 8 under par uh, we've now got Watch715 who I think has recently just joined actually <laughs> I'll be honest with you I checked out his score his ghost ball and he was hitting legit so kudos to, to Watch and Colm as well is a, is a great player but a legit great player so he's 12 under par so hopefully uh, Colm 13 had a bit of squeaky bum today or uh, he might even have played his round um, as you can see there, he's actually number one in the, the rankings. I'm just behind for a, by a few points. So I could actually really do with knocking him off, but four shots to pull back. It really depends what he shoots in that final round. It could be very, very interesting. If he shoots like a level one under par, or even two under, oh man, there's chances. So we'll need to wait and see. We need to wait and see what the weather's going to be. We need to wait and see what he shoots. So it could it could get very interesting. But AWG there is six under, and I'm afraid I don't see that as a as a viable score. As I say, there's guys out there playing playing well, honing their skills, basically getting to the point where you know they've got a golf game to a really nice level. But people that are just going to cheat with a straight shot, I'm sorry, it's just impossible to do it. So that's this video. Uh, the video is titled "To Catch a Cheater." I might even put uh, "To Catch a Cheater" case file number one. Hopefully, I don't have many more case files. Uh, but the reason I'm, I'm actually putting this video up is I don't know if if the person the person can actually contact me on face Facebook Pixelated Golfers Association. Uh, you can get in touch with the site. You can actually say that he's not cheating. Uh, but basically. I'm going to put the, the link to the video with the case file number and if that person wants to comment or wants to basically prove that he's not cheating I'm afraid that the video proves 110% that that person's cheating so that person has got the, the opportunity to basically stay in the the society but he's going to have to prove the next if, if he does that the next event he plays I will check his ghost ball and I'm not even going to give him. If that first tee shot, I I think is still the same. He's out. He's gone. He's not. He's not got hope in hell of staying. So that's going to going to conclude this video. As I say, I will be on streaming later at some point. Um, I've actually got a couple of rounds to do in a lot of societies at the moment. Uh, I started the no aids golf uh, team meeting round, and I was. I think I started 5 over par, first round 77, came back with 72, level par, so I'm currently 5 over through 2 rounds, it's a 4 round event, so I might, I might do another round of that, and I might, I might uh, live stream the final round as well, as another option onto the Bridgestone Invitational, but anyway guys, 
thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video to the point where any other societies have got this. Uh, this is maybe a good way to, to police it, to base it, just do a quick video. Do a ghost ball and say what you're cheating, mate. There's a proof. It's on my YouTube channel. You know, proven, guilty, goodbye. So, as I say, once again, folks, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Um, stay up to date with the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you for more videos coming up soon. Hopefully not like this court case type scenario, but it's, it's going to be done. Anyway, guys, thanks very much. Catch you later. Stay safe. Bye.